Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. I'm Lena, and today we're diving into something that is going to inspire your, uh, your mind and also nourish your soul. So it's so good to be back right here live with you. If you are here, by all means, uh, show me with an emoji. Uh, you can even say hello. I would love to turn this uh, session today and make it more interactive. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, one of the techniques that I have used. And uh, if you have even heard of it, it's called tap tapping, EFT, which is emotional tapping. And I'm going to give you a very basic way of how that works. Plus, uh, come October, uh, we're restarting and uh, reconnecting with our uh, clientele and we welcome new people into our group sessions. So the first Saturday of the month, we're going to have our group meeting right here at Heal Within. If you are anywhere in the LA area, by all means, I'm going to put the link over there for you to um, check it out and by all means register and be with us and lastly I'm going to end with a powerful quote now wouldn't that be great so let's begin tapping I'm sure you've heard of it it's one of the tools that I use as a hypnotherapist and stress management consultant I like to call it my Felix the cat uh, the black bag that anytime I need to, I pull um, tools and techniques to help my clients with anything that I can. Now, tapping became very prominent long time ago, over 10 years ago, and um, it is called emotional uh, freedom technique. So. It's got nine points on our body that we start with, and it's to release um, stress, overcome some anxiety that is happening at that moment. And I usually give it to my clients and I have them uh, recite what it is that they are challenged with. And then right after you say what is bothering you, you turn around and also give the power suggestions that you accept it and you are ready to let it go. So here are the nine points of how we do technique, uh, the EFT or the tapping technique. Allow me to also say on each point, we're supposed to uh, tap seven times, okay? So you have nine points and you tap seven times. First and foremost, you tap, we start with what we call it the karate chop. It's like right here. So let me give you the points first and then say how we do it, okay? Uh, first, you do right here. It's the karate chop in between uh, this color right here. There is this like a small little dent and you can either do it this way or you can do the tapping. So it's seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the second point is uh, right here. You know how when you something happens, you frown? So it's right here, it's the third eye. You tap right there. The second one right after that is right here. So you go from here to here, right at the temple, there's a small little dent. That's another pressure point. We tap right there. Right underneath that is under the eye and you tap right here. Usually do it with three fingers. It's not supposed to be very hard, but it's gentle enough to tap right there. Right after that, the other point is under your nose, right above the lip and you tap right there. And from that point on, the, the other point is under the chin, releasing what is it that you speak, validating what you speak to release, okay? Right after this, you come down, you go straight here, but you go onto your collarbone, 
and you tap on your collarbone. You can even hear it when you tap on the collarbone. Right after the collarbone, you go right under your arm. It's the armpit right here. And uh, for women who wear bras, right here. And you just tap in there. And the last one is our crown chakra, which is the crown center of the head. So you tap right here. Again, so it's starting from here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points. So after you do all the tapping, you start with, let's say you have a challenge. Even though I am feeling stressed, I am ready to let this go. Even though I feel stressed, I know I can handle this. Handle, because it's the hand. I can handle this and let it go. So you can start with something very basic and do all the points and make sure that you repeat all points. If you are in public, if you are going through some kind of a anxiety, you're stressed, and you need to, to get a hold of yourself. All you need to do in, in order for it not to be obvious, this is what I help my clients, they practice doing this, is this part, I can handle this, I am in total control. I can handle this, I am in total control. And if you are not tapping, which tapping is the best way to do, you can do it like it's a, uh, a violin, it's the bow, and you're just doing it very gently. Your mind, which is the thumb finger, goes straight into the center of your hand, and you hold on to that, and you do the bow. And gently, you can just be at anywhere in the car, if you're feeling anxious, if you are studying for something, if you are gonna be speaking in public, so when speaking in public or when you're doing something like that, the best thing is the triangle. So you put your fingers and everything into a triangle, the mind together, the body together, and you turn it into a triangle. Most speakers, if you notice, you will see them doing this cross finger like this, and they're just sitting right there. So they're solid in a triangle in total balance of mind, body, and of spirit. But if you are needing to release and wanting to make sure that you can handle something, you do this. Mm. So this is one of the most simple techniques because why? Our mind and our body are connected at all times. I know you can't do self-hypnosis all the time, the way I do it, I can go in and out of hypnosis because I've practiced it so much. I tap into my subconscious mind and I can literally drift into a hypnotic state. It's a hypnotic state. I'm not asleep because I am more in control in that hypnotic state than ever before. So learning how to do self-hypnosis can also very be very powerful. Um, does that make sense? Hypnosis is so powerful that it's mind over body, mind over body, tools and techniques. That's all they are. There is no woo woo anything. The same way as I hypnotize myself in the endodontist chair and I can have root canals done, which I've done eight of them with absolutely no anesthesia. It's mind over matter. I do the self-hypnosis, uh, localizing only that one part that he's going to do the surgery or the root canal. And I have absolutely, I feel it, I know it, I hear it, I sense it, but there is no pain factor. And I can easily become one with the entire surgery or the root canal, and then I heal much faster which I can also teach you this. Again, nothing but tools and techniques. 
You have the power within yourself. All you need is probably how the learning process, how to do that, and you too can accomplish this. So tapping is very powerful. It's uh, one of the things that it's uh, become one uh, that a lot of people use it. Um, it's linked to releasing stress, anxiety, even when you want to sleep, you can tap and say, I am in total control of my mind and body, and I am ready to drift into sleep, drift into sleep. We don't go anywhere, we drift into. So even the words that you use is very powerful and how you associate consciously and subconsciously with certain words, your subconscious hears it, accepts it, and acts for you. Make sense? <laughs> okay, so tapping is truly proven to reduce stress. Even it can help lower cholesterol, blood pressure, because at that moment you're saying, I am in total control of my mind and body. I can release or I can bring my blood pressure for the next 10 minutes, one hour, lower and lower. And then you have in your mind what is the number you want it to come down to and your body would automatically bring it down for you. I can also teach you that if you want at another time. Please be in touch with me. So the last thing is, um, oh, not the last thing. Make sure that you sign up for our workshop October 5. It's going to be from 10 until 11.30. Sometimes we go over, we're here until by the time we start and end. So give yourself approximately 90 minutes to maybe two hours maximum. Uh, it will be held in my office. RSVPs are required because, uh, because of due to seating and space. So sign up, it's going to be very powerful. We're gonna do self-hypnosis and I'm gonna teach self-hypnosis. And oh my God, October is gonna be amazing. I have an, a fantastic guest next week and October we're gonna have more interviews, more tools and techniques for you. And uh, we're revamping uh, Heel Talk Tuesdays. And lastly, a quote. One of the best quotes I read the other day, and I want you to know, it says, stop sitting there with your hands folded, looking on, doing nothing. Get into action and live this full and glorious life. You have to do it. And I, when I read that, it's like, stop sitting there with your hands folded, looking on, doing nothing. And then it reminded me of something I remind some of my clients, especially uh, the young men uh, who come in here wearing their uh, Nikes. Just do it. The sign of Nike, this check mark. If you think of anything else and anything that you want to do, just remember, Nike said so, check mark, just do it. Their logo speaks volume. So what you want in life, you can't move forward going backwards. So stop sitting there with your hands folded, get up. Let's do it together. You wanna to get on a journey of health and wellness? Join me, come to the group, or you can even message me for one-on-one -on -one sessions. And until next week, I hope this message, today's session was beneficial to you. If you want to learn anything, if you want to know more about anything, by all means, let me know. Until next week, God bless you and may the universal light surround you always.
Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.